I, uh, this is a Jerry Goku production, and also, uh, wait a minute, production, Jerry Goku here. Today I'm going to talk about three new boxes of stuff. Mm. It's not an unboxing, but it's just showing you the relative size and price of the things that I've bought. Well, I went to Chow Kids to look at some of the wholesalers for such toys and lo and behold I found some that do sell toys, Gundam toys. And as you can see I bought three and this is an impulse buy. I bought it from like two companies. One is called the Union 8 Syndrome Heart Toy Shop which I got this Sinanju from and these two, two of these from a toy shop called, I'm not sure, Toy City, is it? I'm not sure. I'll go and check. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Please, wait a minute. Comparison. We got the Sinanju and the rest. Okay. If I knew that I could actually get wholesale price or cost almost to cost price, not that, I mean I don't know the cost price, but maybe it's almost the cost price, but it's still expensive in my own humble opinion since I'm a super miser. If I knew that there was a place that existed, wholesale toy shops, I would have gone there and Chow Kid was the place. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have wasted my time going from toy shop to toy shop in those big shopping malls because the shopping malls would have exorbitant rent rates. So that in turn will be reflected in the cost or in the price retail price of the products that they sell thus making all these pirated Gundams more expensive than their cost maybe two or three times more expensive than how much those toy shops paid the wholesaler so yeah Chow Kid is the place to get all these types of Gundams and I will recommend a couple of them to you so when I went to Chow Kid, I mean, I remember Chow Kid as a place that is very, very dodgy. My sister and her mate would at night go there to look at the transfer states. Yes, this is a common occurrence among the Malaysian youth. We go around looking for transfer states. Not to solicit their services, but just to look at them. Uh, that's how we go pathetic lot aren't we I wasn't that keen on it and Chow Kid is also an area where drug users are abundant I went there in broad daylight and there was some dodgy people wanting to talk to me and I said fuck off I didn't say fuck off I just walked away ignoring those people don't know what they wanted but for sure it involves my money in their hands so I went to Chow Kid and well, it was so bloody hard to find a place because I am not a native of KL. I'm not familiar with KL. It has been like 8 to 10 years since I've been here or used the roads here. I mean, I mean I've been in KL many times but never by my own self riding a bike. Yep, it's quite dangerous but still doable. Just hope that your luck is good and you won't die. So I went to the first shop uh, which is Time Toy Bar Enterprise and and I got two two impulse buys and they are 
they have a lot of boxes of this mobile suit 033 full armor unicorn with the full complement of weapons and shit. The retail price at that shop was 180 bucks. And I asked the fellow whether I can get 50% off or not, even though I'm not a member. If I was not a member, I was entitled to 30% off. So I badgered him, pleaded with him, kissed his foot, kissed his cheek, kissed every every part of his body in order to get at least 50%. I didn't get 50% much, I get, I think I got 45%. So this is the first impulse buy. Uh, it's a master grade, means it's 1 out of 100 scale, which I'm not that fond of, but I get a feeling that the unicorn was much bigger in is like slightly less than a perfect grade size maybe 80% of a perfect grade for sure and the weapons are quite impressive and it comes with this green unicorn with booster packs of a few tanks and some kind of uh, what are you bobsled type of space uh, flying thingy whatever I haven't opened it. It's by uh, TT only, or as other people would call it, Gao Gao. It should be good because this uh, Chinese company is reputedly better than GHB and or, or the Model GD type in terms of plastic and stuff. So it's quite a huge box, huge box. There were like six boxes of these. So. If you like Unicorn, go there and buy it and hopefully the owner will like you enough to give you at least 50% off. And another impulse buy was this, I'm not sure, this is a MSA-001 Exterior EX-5 Fighter. It's a transformable. I don't like transformables because I don't like transforming anything. But it, it looks sick when it's posed on an action base holding a super rifle. Look at its size, it's like a PG size, and the box is quite big, very long, and its retail price is 200 bucks. Yep, 200 bucks. It was the only box left on the top shelf, so I was like tempted. I am not sure which Gundam anime it comes from, I'm not so keen on it, but it, it is a huge Gundam, I think. And as I said, it's an impulse buy. It's a 1 hour 100 scale, a master grade. So I got these two boxes for 200 bucks. So theoretically speaking, this is 50% off and this is almost 50%. So I should have gotten 90 bucks for this one since it's 180 bucks. But I paid 200 bucks instead of 190 bucks. So yeah, 100 bucks for each, just to make things simpler. So, size comparison between these two, two models gotten from Time Toy Bar. Is, is I didn't get any perfect grades, unfortunately. So you can, as you can see, the unicorn armor, full armor, is much thicker. But, but this one, the X S is much longer very long uh, almost twice as long yep this is only unicorn is only thicker than this but this is much longer twice as long very long I haven't opened it yet I haven't checked the contents but heck I think I'll wait for a few months until I open it well almost approaching the 10 minute mark I think I'll start a new part to Thank you, Malaysia, and bye-bye. So this is part two of, uh, what do you call, wait a minute, production. So this is Sinanju, wow. I never thought that I would actually find a Sinanju, which, is, which does not cost 200 bucks. I found, uh, what do you call, in Ipoh, the Parks and Grand, the shop, or book Chinese bookshop in the middle of all the shops. It does not have a shop lot, but it's just in the middle of the damn atrium. 
sold this at the retail price of 200 bucks I didn't dare to ask them whether how much I can get it for at a discount rate because I didn't know such discount rates existed at all so the retail price for this is 150 bucks yep 150 bucks and I went there and asked them can I get it for 100 bucks and they consulted the computer and lo and behold yes 100 bucks is all right and the company is Union Aids and Rambahat. Nice people. These two companies are very good. They at least give you a good discount. Rate. I would have preferred them to give me at 75 bucks, but what the heck. So I cons after knowing the price, 100 bucks, I consulted my wallet, and lo and behold, I didn't have enough money. I didn't have 100 bucks because I spent most all of my almost all of my cash on these two. 200 bucks, gone, finish, finito, kaboom, bye bye. But the Sinanju, I needed to buy it, even though it's a master grade. I needed to buy this for my friend Zams, or Zairi Abdul Muhammad, because he bet that, or he said that he would eat pork if I helped him to acquire a Sinanju master grade and a freedom master grade, and also to use my spare time to assemble both of these products he did he does not like bootleg products or in case here is titi Honey or gao gao so he said 250 bucks for uh, original ova 2013 made sinanju is all right i found that at uh, a bandai sale at their headquarters near chiras or taman kono kl 250 bucks. I at the time of that sale, I didn't have that type of money, and I would never spend that much money on such a thing. My the most I can spend is 100 bucks for master grades. For perfect grades, 150 maybe. Yeah, 150. So this is the box, Sinanju box. So this is not the OVA version, which if I'm not mistaken, is an improvement in design, especially around the waist, which poses a lot of problems in terms of breakage. So, tough luck. Don't play with this once it's done too much, especially around the waist. It's not a transformer. It's not a toy. It's a model. <coughs> so that's about it. I, sp I, w I, I left that shop, the Union 8, thinking that I might go and get money from the ATM machine and I walked around looking for other toy shops and some of the toy shops like Toy City they didn't have any Gundams because they were sold out so uh, that's the thing with wholesalers once they are gone, they are gone and yeah, that's about it about them so I couldn't find any others and I consulted my, t my wallet again and yes I got exactly 90 bucks in cash as in in paper currency and haha I went back and asked them hey can you like sell it to me for 90 bucks and they said yeah sure no problem fuck I should have asked them for 75 bucks since I didn't actually see this 150 mark or pr retail price because the Sinanjus were up above I couldn't reach for them I should have ask them for 75 bucks but 90 bucks is all right because in the net in the master master Gundam master block spot or whatever a Malaysian guy he is selling at 100 to 130 if I'm not mistaken so 90 bucks is all right but I would have been happier with 75 bucks we being a miser but definitely if I was given 75 bucks I would have liked it to be 36 bucks or less well I think that's about it and look this is my artwork I've been doing it's a very long artwork consisting of three no one two three four five six consecutive A2 paper plastered no 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 duct tape together it is a very long Ah, piece of artwork. Look at this here. This is a stool. A uh, groin 
height to that is a very huge artwork. That's what I do for a living. If you want any, just tell me. I'll give you a good price. <laughs> As if. So, yeah. I asked my friend Zams, yes, he promised to eat pork even though he's Muslim, if I did all these things for him. So, I asked him whether he wants perfect grade, uh, perfect grade what? Perfect grade strike or not. And he said, mm, if it's good, no, maybe, yeah. Well, 150 bucks at this store, Bumi Utaru Resources, uh, near the digital mall. Which Putaling Jaya SS something, I'm not sure. So they are having a 50% sale, and I bought that uh, model GD Strike Rogue with a uh, fighter at 120 bucks. That's a fucking huge box, and I already sent it back home. And uh, yeah, 120 bucks for such a big, huge box. A box that is this size, uh, this height, and this long. Yep, combining two of these boxes that long and that tall. Wow, that will be very, very time consuming to put together. These are my stuff. So, 150 bucks for a perfect great strike Gundam, the white version or the Kira Yamato version. So I was thinking, if I can get that cheap here, uh, it's considered cheap to other people, not, but not to me. If I can get it at 100 bucks, 100 ringgit for perfect grade, I will buy it and uh, do it for hunt, uh, for Sam's. So yeah, I think that's about it about my Gundam hunt in Kuala Lumpur. Go to Chow Kit, buy them, and be happy. And hopefully there are no missing parts or broken parts in those non-Bandai stuff. Daban model, I'm not sure about that. PD Homely will be repeatedly better. And GBH, mm, kind of the dodgy. Uh, seems to be dodgy, but the perfect great rouge. Rug, rouge, rouge. is seems complete. So, yeah. So guys, go to Unit 8 or Toy Bar or anywhere else, go to the wholesalers in Chow Kit and be Gundam Mary. Yeah, I think I need to return to Union 8 because they have a Psycho Gundam high grade, which is, I mean high grade is small, but Psycho Gundam is actually a fucking huge um, machine and it might be a perfect grade size. So I might go there and buy, buy it if it's like 50 bucks, yep, 50 bucks, go there and negotiate with them after buying Sinanju. <laughs>